hey guys in today's video i'll be talking about my pregnancies now guys i am 32 weeks and two days pregnant here you can see my belly it has grown so much <laughs> and there's a lot more growing left to do because i'm actually 32 weeks in my third trimester yes so guys all my pregnancies are different trust me and um most of the things i will not remember so what i did what i did before i have a book right here well there was a, a, a cover right here um that has um i think it's my journal something like that for jacia to see so she can look at it here here it is all right so i've written down a lot of things inside this book jc's um development also um some values that we'd like for her to you know have like be respectful and all of that so she has this book when she gets a little older she can read all the stuff that's inside so guys i will be talking about my first pregnancy first and um, I will not say as much because you would have already seen on Color Smith TV where we are where we have talked about <laughs> our story with our firstborn Jace. So first, you know, we got married in 2017 and we had Jace in 2018 and it was a stillbirth. So we're, I'm going to move along. <laughs> I don't want to get too emotional talking about that. So um, with baby now, guys, I would say that with Jacia, um, things are kind of similar. And when I say similar, guys, with Jacia, I had no morning sickness, really. Um, but all pregnancies were planned with, but with Jace, let me just say with Jace, how I found out that I was pregnant, guys, one day I was walking on the road with my husband and I felt, I felt sick as if, you know, I wanted to throw, but it didn't happen and that's the time I found out that I was pregnant and um, the next day we bought the pregnancy test <laughs> and then when I did the test I was <laughs> guys I, I wasn't the first one who looked at the test it was my husband and he was so excited and uh, when I when I saw his face, I didn't have to ask if it was positive or negative. I knew that it was positive, and the two of us was, were so excited. Um, with Jacia, with Jacia. Um, well, like before I speak about that part, let me just say, um, with Jace now, when when I had the stillbirth with him, I was really worried because you know. It was really hard for me to say, all right, let me try again, even though the doctor said um, to give my body just a year, but I waited for more than a year. And persons normally say when, you know, you have a stillbirth or miscarriage or anything like that, it's best to try again because that way you would feel much better when another baby comes along. But still i remember jace i always remember him but it's really true guys when you know never give up always try again and think you will you will feel much better so i have had a lot of encouragement persons encourage me a lot to you know try again and all of that and as you see now we are so 
proud of Jacia. You have watched her, you see that she has developed so wonderful. She's, you know, she's just everything. <laughs> yes, so um, I have everything inside her journal where she can look at where she can look at um, things that I crave for. Well, what I like about my pregnancies though, you know, I always try to eat healthy. And when it comes down to my final trimester, like the third trimester when I feel exhausted, I'm very tired, then I would like eat burger, you know, fast food. Yes, and uh, I love drink. I love to drink water a lot. That's what I love. And as I said, I eat healthy, so that is just very important. All right. So with Jacia, as I said, it is similar to the pregnancy. No. Um. I am actually going to a private health care. So I don't miss any appointment. I've never missed any appointments when I'm pregnant. And that's also a good thing. Um, with Jace, it wasn't a private hospital that I go to. It was a public hospital. So, yes, guys, because of that experience in the past, I was so very uncomfortable to go back to the public so I am at private hospital and um, when I found out <laughs> that I was pregnant um, I started to feel a lot of cramps and all of that and um, same with Jacia yeah? I had a lot of cramps I with Jacia yeah, now I did a lot of um, we used up a lot of pregnancy tests. I thought that something was wrong, but nothing wasn't wrong. And I even went to the doctor that I, where I had my baby with Chase. And he was explaining to me that, you know, I just have to wait some time. Try another pregnancy test to see what happens. And then, then from there, when I did the um, pregnancy test, yes, we found out that we were pregnant, that I was pregnant, and um, everything went, went well. I also worked right up, and um, <laughs> with Jace, with, with I did mention that, um, I, yes, I worked right up, and I was also doing my teaching practice, but with Jace, yeah. I worked right up and um, I didn't have much courses left to do and that was also you know great because I didn't have too much stuff to do and all of that so um, let me just talk about my pregnancy now as I said it's similar with Jacia so um, when I go to the antenatal um, they would say like Mothers have to be 8 to 16 weeks before they start the hospital. But before I went to a gynecologist, just to, you know, um, make sure that I am, that all is well, as in to get an ultrasound done, to, Yes, I get an ultrasound done, guys. With, with my pregnancy now, I didn't do a pregnancy test. So as I said, I went to a gynecologist. I get an ultrasound done, and everything was okay. And then I started, I was prescribed to take um, the natal. It has iron inside of it, vitamin and all of that, and also folic acid. So I took these I took these pills when I was also pregnant with Jason. Also aspirin, but no I'm not on any aspirin. And the aspirin is 
something that is good too as it prevents you know strokes and all of that but um, now I'm not taking any of that so I it, in terms of um, going to the clinic now what I what they had told me to do I've done everything and that is blood test so when 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 I'm at my first trimester or when I just started the clinic I have to I had to take blood tests to make sure you know that everything is okay and yes the blood test results they are they are good um, also to know what blood group I am and I've known I, I, I've known that before but I still had to get it done and also when I am um, I think it's 28 weeks when I was 28 weeks I, I also had to do another blood test also a glucose test to make sure you know that I have no diabetes and all of that so the checkups have been going really great and I am so grateful that the results that I get they are everything is fine so far so you know with Jace yeah. with Jace I should say the first my first born I had had cesarean section at I think it was 38 weeks or 39 weeks so with Jace yeah, the hospital didn't want to um, let me you know didn't want to stand any risk so they said with JC I had her at 37 weeks so with my pregnancy now I know that I will have another caesarean section and I'm sure that it will be earlier than 40 weeks so <clears throat> so what I did guys so what my husband and I did today we actually went to a store and we bought some things that are required for the hospital um, delivery labor and um, delivery so I'll be showing you some of the I'll be showing you the new stuff that was bought today so um, some of these things that we bought they'll be used for they will be used inside the hospital and when I leave the hospital and also I'll be re reusing some of the stuff from um, what we had for JCA so I'm going to start now by showing you the, the things that I bought alright so we bought some baby bottles Can you help me? All right, so there are more baby bottles. We bought some baby bottles. And these stuff that I'm showing, as I said, they are new. Okay, guys, so this is a button front blouse and it is required by the hospital. So I've chose, we have chose the light colors, like white, you know. So, and these are very good for the baby, when the baby is born. So it, it doesn't, you know, um, cover the umbilical cord as it is. Yes. Also bought bibs, socks, here we have a basin, we bought the bath set, I will show you that soon but this is the basin so far. baby bag right here and um, I have two of them yes. 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 alright so 
I have obvious right here, diaper. So this diaper is for newborn. And I have more that I'm just showing you. One pack. Also, these are some more tops for baby. <laughs> what are you doing, Jason? Alright, so I have baby hats right here. Um. Baby wipes. And I have more wipes as well. Alright, so this is for me, you know, bed slippers. Um, I have some wash rugs for baby. <laughs> no, this is not a hat, Jessia. <laughs> Alright, so I have receivers. So these are new receivers. Um, these are some more tops as well for baby. More baby bottles. <laughs> okay, so in the bath set, oh, we also have um, it also come with a pail. Uh, those are some more wipes, and um, this is the cotton ball for the baby umbilical card. Alright, more baby acts again. And here I have more receivers. Bye. And these colors are so nice. Alright, so I'm going to show you the Bye. baby bath. <laughs> JJ! <Yeah. laughs> so here bath yes bath bath all right so after delivery i will need this um the mesh bed and these are some more baby ass I also have a baby care kit. <laughs> Just have to coat some of the items. It comes with a um, pacifier, thermometer, home airbrush for baby, and nail clip, and so much more, guys. <laughs> they say you took them out. Alright, so these are some more baby bottles again, and I will have to sterilize them. Um, diapers. Alright, so here I have um, nursery jelly, which is a bar barrier cream. I also have desitin as well. Baby wash. Here I have some more clothes for the baby. Wash rugs again. <laughs> And um, slippers is also recommended. Um, incontinent sheet for me. Um, I 
think some more stuff are inside that bottle. Alright, just a moment, guys. Jess, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the desitin, guys. A barrier cream that I'll be using. Um, also, the 70% white or clear alcohol to just the, um, for the baby's umbilical cord. Baby wash and shampoo. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it. So those were the items that we bought. Some new stuff. And as I said, um, we have so much more from when we had JCR. So we'll be used reusing some of the items. And that is it, guys. So you can look out for more videos, guys. Please like the video share subscribe thank you so much for watching